Hi and welcome, Kat from Sacred Soul Rising. So I've got a question recently and the question is, Kat, how, well there's a couple, <laughs> there's always a couple. So Kat, how do I align, how do I align with my soul? And also, how, Kat, do I, how do I energetically shift on this journey? And these are big questions because let's face it, when we start the journey, when we have that dark night of the soul, when we go into that separation phase, it starts that big breakdown. And, and what I really want to stress is that you are going through a massive energetic shift your whole being is energetic shifting so your luminous um energetic field your your dense 3d body um your ego mind and also your 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 spirit and your soul everything is is shifting and going through the only sort of 3D word I can put on it, and I'm, I, w I really want to stress this here, 3D words are, are probably not my forte. I, I try my hardest <laughs> to try <laughs> 3D word, um, to explain it in the best way that I can. But sometimes, um, sometimes I maybe don't use the right 3D word. Why? Because what you are going through, a lot of the time, I cannot even put it into words. And if you're on this journey, you will recognize what I am saying here. Because this journey is beyond words. This journey is beyond mind. And to energetically shift on this journey is to to go within is to really start to see see the world through instead of seeing the world through the eyes the two eyes that you have you start to see you start to feel the world at a different vibration but you also start to see the world through that third eye and this is why the kundalini happens the, the kundalini is your life force energy and the, the the big part of this journey which is not often talked about is how you how the energy works through each of the chakras and each of the um chakras plays plays a role plays a role in in your spiritual evolution which is what you are going through here and you know what on this journey when we start this journey it is so easy to go and try and search and that's that's why everybody goes through a lot of the time i would say probably 99% of people go through searching for answers outside of themselves so looking at astrology looking at tarot and oracles searching out psychics searching out mediums um because they're trying trying to figure out the answers and this journey this journey can never can never be figured out by mind because all those um beautiful tools and I'm never putting down those tools I, I hold all those tools I have all those tools but on this journey those tools will not give you the answer because and this is the key you're going through um you're going through sort of a spiritual death you're going through ego death and dark night of the soul and what that does is it it shifts your whole your whole energetic system and and the only way the only way through this journey is to go within is to learn to be is to learn and and that does not feed your ego mind 
that is is not satisfying it is far easier for somebody to feed and and the mind wants relief on this journey and and i really want to emphasize that the mind wants relief relief you know that that feeling of i just want the mind to stop because it is it for some reason on this journey is so activated it is so activated and most people will come to me and go, Kat, you don't understand. This is not what I do. Kat, this is not me. And it is because you are awakening to your truth. That kundalini is activated. That core wound is activated. And this journey is a gift, but at the beginning, it does not feel like a gift. And the only way to align with soul is to go within and everything that I guide on, everything, you know, in my Twin Flame course is to give you understanding of this journey, but also to help you because the only way to magnetize the other incarnation of you in, which is your divine counterpart, is for you to to align with soul, to bring everything back to soul, to bring everything back to you. And everything that I teach on my Twin Flame course um, is there to, to help you process through that, to help you shift into, into that energy. And, and that's not an easy, that's not an easy process to do because you've spent all your life being conditioned to believe you are the mind and to work from the mind. And this journey collapses all that you've been conditioned to believe that there is good bad black white up down and this journey collapses all that to a singularity the truth of this journey is held within the universe and that does not satisfy the ego mind certainly especially when we are in those big oscillation energies of trying to figure out. The other thing that people will ask me, how do I align with my soul cat? You align by soul, by being, by listening to the whispers of your soul and by connecting in to each of the chakras. You know, that root chakra is all about, you know, am I, do I feel safe where I live? Is my soul um, lit by where I live? Is this where I should be? Is this the home that I should be in? Am I aligned with my soul purpose? Am I doing what I'm here to do? Does what I get up and, and create every single day? Am I in creative energy or am I just going to a job and just doing the process of process? Pro That's... That's once you've had the Kundalini, once you've had the Kundalini, you have to align with soul. Otherwise, you feel that lack is really switched on. This journey is an incredible journey, but you have to align fully with soul. There is no easy way. And if you are looking outside of yourself, for the answers you will stay in in the loop if you are looking at the other body for the answers you will stay in the loop this is way bigger than than what the mind is telling you this is your awakening and that kundalini energy that is pulsing through the body and you may even feel it like a pulsing energy you may feel it in the base the sacral as a pulsing energy and you know as it moves through 
it is purifying. That kundalini is purifying you all the time. So if you're feeling like discomfort, if you're feeling big, raw emotions, that's because it's currently moving through, you know, big, more raw emotions. It's currently processing through that solar plexus. If you're feeling really lack and not in flow where you live, or that's because it is pulsing through that base and root chakra. If you are currently feeling like, what am I doing for a job? This is not what I'm meant to do. I want to help other souls. That's because it's pulsing through your sacral. If you feel like closed down and no love and feel like you're all alone and, you know, you just want to find love, that is because it is pulsing through your heart chakra and it is asking you to find love for self. If you are... If you feel that block in your throat chakra, i.e., you know, there are things going on in your life and you feel like people are dictating to you and people are saying things that you don't want them to say and you feel cornered and you feel that you're, you can't speak your real truth, that is because it is pulsing through your throat chakra. If you feel it in your third eye and you feel that the world just doesn't feel see, seem fair right now. I'm seeing the world and I feel frustration. I feel the anger. That is because it is pulsing through your third eye chakra. And if you are feeling not fully aligned, if you don't wake up feeling love, passion, and I know you're not going to do it every single day. We're always going through obstacles. Why? Because we are here to grow. We are here to evolve. But if you are feeling lack of lust for life, and when I say lust, I'm probably using the, I'm using the wrong word there. <laughs> See, I tell you, my 3D language is not great. But if you're following this channel, you'll already know that by now. And if it, if it's not working for you, <laughs> probably unsubscribe to me. <laughs> because my 3D language isn't always good. So I'm trying to think of another word for that. Passion passion, where you look at life and fall in love with a leaf, where you look at life and you see a raindrop and you go, oh my goodness. You know, the other day, my children had planted some seeds and on top of the seed was a single drop of water a single drop and it was on the top it was it was it was not a leaf it was part of the seed i don't know what you would call it i'm not a plant expert my mum could probably tell you but it was on the top of it and i looked at it with pure pure amazement that single drop of water how incredible it was and that's what this journey takes you to you see wonder in everything. You see beauty in everything. And yes, things still happen where you feel pain, but you're able to move past it. You're able to see past that. That is where this journey is taking you to. And if you need more help and support on this journey, because this, this is not just about another person. This is way beyond. This is your awakening. This is your awakening. And you magnetized your other self in to awaken to the truth, to help the planet, to help you align. Because here's the thing. When you align fully with soul, when you align with who you truly are at soul level, you raise the planet, you raise your own vibration. And in doing that, you raise the planet vibration. And we start to shift in incredible ways. And that is what this whole journey is truly about. But the paradox of it, of it is that when you fully align, when you fully align, the other incarnation starts to come back in. 
That is the crazy journey. <laughs> if you need more help and support on this journey, need to learn how to balance because, you know, balancing is really key. You can magnetize that other person, but unless you learn how to then balance the energy in slowly, it will keep looping forever and a day. This is an incredible journey. This is a gift. I send you so much love. If you need more help and support, my website is there to help you. Make sure you subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Much love. Have a blessed day.